Hi. Um, today, somebody, well, yesterday or a few days ago, somebody told me about this program I hadn't heard of before. It's called Critter. Now, most 2D graphics programs that I've experienced are not very use. I find the interface not very helpful. For example, GIMP. Um, I've used this for quite a while, but I, I never like it. I find the user interface system quite difficult and not intuitive. But this um, Critter one looks very good. It's it's similar to Photoshop or <clears throat> Adobe Sketchbook Pro in a way. So when you I down, you download Critter for free, and when you load it up, it's got this screen, and you just have to make a new document. So make it. It has different options and this document for example let's leave it at what they ask here one six hundred pixels one two hundred okay so I push on create as I say I've just downloaded this I don't know um, many of the buttons it seems to take a while to create the document which is a bit strange my graphics fan is kicking in just wait a bit Okay, and now it loads a blank sheet, obviously, and it seems here we've got in the bottom right we've got brush presets, layers, and channels, all the usual things we get with other paint programs, but this is free, so it looks quite promising so far. So what I'm going to do is try to load an image, one of my drawings, and see if I can draw paint colors under it, as I tried with Adobe Sketchbook Pro, but obviously unlike Pro, this is completely free. So I'm going to go to layer, Where? what do I do here? It must be an add layer somewhere here. This symbol, a plus. Okay, so it's added a layer. I'm going to go to some images I made, some drawings that I scan, that are photographed. You can see this in some other tutorials as well, these ones. So I'm going to go to Blogs, NYC. Oh, well, I'll use this one, Montreal Drawings. I'll use, I'll have a go with this image here. Okay, well, I opened that because I did made a mistake there, right? In, so I drag it from the Windows folder into the Critter and it says insert as a new layer. Okay, let's do that. Great, so it's inserted it here. Um, you can move it. Let's have a look. Can you move it? There's a crosshair here. And that's cool. And I guess I can scale it, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to mess around with this. So usually we have the blending mode in the layer options, like in other programs. and multiply okay so in the other tutorial I clicked on multiply in sketchbook pro and what this should do is make the layer under it um well no it makes this layer the the layer with the drawing transparent where it's white so i'm going to go down to layer one and have a look to see if it works now i don't know where there's a brush i think we use this option paint okay paint with brushes there's some stupid error on my computer. I'll switch it off. So paint with brushes. Let's choose a color. Um, what shall we do? Starbucks logo. This was in a coffee shop in a shopping mall. Um, forgotten what the color of Starbucks is. Probably this. I've had Starbucks a few times and Okay, so now it's doing something weird. I guess it's on a different setting. So, brush presets, and we have to take it on to something like this pen. Okay. All right, that's good. And up here, we've got the size, so we can take the size up and down. So again, it's working, working perfectly. I'm really pleased with this, and again, it's free. I'll put a link up here as well on the YouTube video to, so you can go to the site and download it and try it for yourself. I've experienced no bugs in it so far. I've only loaded it one time before and played with it for about five minutes. So there you go.
So that's looking good. So I've got this, this here. Oh. So right click, we can change. We've got a floating palette thing here. We've got a rubber. This is great. Let's have a play around with some different brushes. This scrubs it. We've got tool options up here. This is, this is really good. Add shape. So some sort of smudging brush, a bit better than that. Hmm. Well, that's quite good. And then we can increase this. Can we increase this? No. All right, that's awesome then. So this this program is pretty damn good, if I don't say so myself. And I might even use it for the new New York work I'm doing. I'll have to see if it can handle very, very big files because my New York work that I'm going to do is going to be for A1 print format, so I need to experiment with that. Anyway, okay, this is just a, an impromptu screencast that I wasn't planning on doing, but because someone sent me details about this critter, it's um, it was interesting. And also, there's... Um, some good videos on about Critter, and I'll put up the link for that that you can watch. People have made more conventional concept art using it. Okay, well, thanks for listening, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.